How we doing, y'all? Welcome to the Southern Made Gamers Podcast, where we talk about the most recent gaming news and pop culture. This is episode 10, Double Didge. You already know who it is, the man with the plan, Nick Fury. It's your boy back in the building, Blazing 318. Let's get it. Young Late, aka D Style Side Player. Mm, stomach flipping. It's your boy, D- Big D Brown. <laughs> flipping and flopping. We. Flip, flip flopping and shit. E. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we the double digits now. Got a lot about a lot of talk about. Uh, first thing, foremost, we'll do off of the last episode. Uh, what's everybody playing right now? What's uh, what's popping? What's what's good? Any games that are old that you went back to? Uh, any brand new games or any new free games that came out on PSN or anything like that? We'll start off with uh, let's let's go with the nail first. Hmm. Lately, I'm nothing new. Destiny. <clears throat> busy couple. Yeah. Okay. Actually, yeah. They Moving on to the next person. Nah, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, you, ain't, you, you ain't tried the medium yet? No, not yet. Well, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go next then. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty much playing the same games I'm playing last time. Well, I'm back on Street Fighter though. I ain't gonna lie. You know, what? they had that new update just drop. I think it dropped yesterday, I believe. But um, Street Fighter Five. Yeah, Street Fighter Five, and uh. Most of my friends are back on it, so I was kind of following the trend right now. Riding the wave. Yep. Mm-hmm. Wherever the competition is, that's where I'll go. Mm-hmm. But say like right, you with, with, with the backpack, flip, flip the sack over and keep on walking. There you go. All right, what about you, Larry? Oh, <laughs> oh me? Oh, shoot, I got a whole lot. Man, so since last time, last time I mentioned I was playing Immortals, so I actually finally got that, sh- got that beat, beat that about... 60 hours and I still got a lot of stuff left to do in it but I kind of put it down for now yeah I mean Damn. I, I, I just enjoy it it's a, lot, it's a lot of exploration you can probably beat the story probably like 20 hours maybe but I just oh. did a lot, a lot of exploring doing the puzzles just have, just enjoying the game I wasn't in a rush to beat it so um but I did finally beat that game and I probably just go back and do some cleanup I mean it's not it's necessary for a platinum or anything but just, just I just enjoy the game and it also got DLC that just came out, but I'll probably wait for that to go on sale because I'm playing other stuff now too. Well, is there uh, is there actually like a like a post game like a lot of you can do in the post game even without the DLC? I know well, you haven't yeah. bought it, but well, yeah, kind of. It's like um, I went. I'm not gonna say it's a live service game. It's not. It's not that at all. It's, it's really is just a full fledged. You buy it. You got every all the content in the game, but it does have stuff like dailies and weekly stuff that you can do. Oh, like they okay. have a weekly. They have a weekly challenge. It's like a, a harder version of uh, some of the vaults in the game, which are like little mini dungeons. And what they are, what, what it is, is like it's, it's like extreme challenges. Like they'll take away ability or they'll try to challenge you to really be it's really high skill based gameplay at that point to try to knock stuff out and the reward for doing those things is they give you a currency to uh, to buy skins in the game from the premium store which is the only microtransactions they have in the game and these are skins that don't have any perks or anything just like cosmetic stuff yeah so they're but just skins spend, yeah but if you don't want to spend real money this is the, this is the avenue to um to get a currency to buy those things without spending money so yeah they, they took care of that too got so, you yeah, but outside of Immortals, uh, since I beat that, I um, I actually started up the most of the games we got free for February for Plus. I, I played Control, and that's pretty cool. I'm still early on in that game, but I like Fire. the way. Yeah, I like the way it's, it's um it's looking so far. The story is pretty dope, and um, as far as the gameplay, like I like how they implemented the haptic feedback. I'm playing on PS5, so like they got the haptic feedbacks going. They got the uh, adaptive triggers. So it really kind of immerses you in the game when you're using uh, Jesse's powers and uh, and her guns. <clears throat> so uh, it's pretty dope. And also, I'm playing the Destruction All Stars as well too. So um, and that's, that's that's okay game. I'm glad they did make it free because it's honestly it's not really a seventy dollar game. <laughs> it's um it'll make it's a great free to play game, and that's that. So being that it's free is actually pretty enjoyable. Yeah. I saw that game was actually uh, for free and like just looking at it. Yeah, I could. I, that just surprised me when you said that it was actually going to be for seventy dollars. Like you just straight up just brought it up for free or was it actually seventy dollars and then they changed it? Yeah, like Fallout. Well, hap- I mean, not what Fallout, happened? Fall Guys. Well, what happened was um, when they first dropped the, ga- the, the uh, games announced, 
or whatever they announced the games, they announced it at seventy. And, not, and it rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. They looked at it like this game looks cool, but it's not like seventy dollars cool. So I guess Sony kind of read that feedback early on. And they immediately kind of threw it off the um, I just took it off sale and put it on plus. And they, they ref- and back then they refunded anybody that uh, that paid for it back when they were selling it. So. Um, that's what happened with that, and like I said, it was a good, it was a good decision because honestly, it feels like a free, to, it feels like a free to play game. There's microtransactions, which I don't know if it was like that before, but I mean, you know, there's skins, there's microtransactions. There's not a lot, there's not a lot of modes of the game either. So, it's a game that's gonna eventually build over time. But the modes in the game are pretty cool. They're pretty fun. Hmm. Like I personally like enjoy Carnado, which is basically like Danielle. You know how Gambit is. It's basically Gambit with cars. You gotta you gotta wreck people, uh, gather gears, and then bank those gears in a giant tornado in the middle of the map. <clears throat> so it's basically like it's basically like Gambit. <clears throat> and what's that other game that has cars mm. and you have to basically destroy each other? What what's that that old ass like PS one game or is it a PS two game? I think it's it PS Twisted Metal. Twisted Metal, that was the one. There, and I played the shit yeah, out of that it's, game. It's, it's definitely not no Twisted Metal. I mean, Twisted no, Metal. That was brutal. More pop- in my opinion, it's more polished, but this yeah. game has, has has its own little twist on gameplay. And it's, okay, it's fun. It's, it's fun as own lane, but it's not no twisted metal. So I'm not gonna put them in the same yeah. category. Twisted metal was a masterpiece. <laughs> that was great. Yeah. And also, I guess I got one more game I'm playing. <laughs> I'm playing a lot of stuff right now. <laughs> but um, today, um, you know, today was the day that the Mario, the Super Mario uh, 3D Land came out, and I've been mm. playing that. With my, uh, with my son uh, pretty much most of the day mm-hmm. we, we, we played all the way up to like world four we played quite a bit this morning <laughs> did you get your free cup free cup oh no i didn't I, we, we got it digital oh okay collector's cup yeah but what exactly is that you just make your own worlds and you just do that or oh no no it's it's a full-fledged game what, what this oh. game was originally it, it was a um it was a nintendo uh what's it wii u game wii u. Yeah. Yeah, oh. wii u. but since the wii u didn't sell well a lot of people missed out on it, so but Ooh. it was really good game yeah. so what they did was they ported it over yeah. and on top of porting it over they brought a uh, a new game along with it attached to it called bowser's fury mm. now we hadn't played that yet but the gist of bowser's fury is like it really is a truly the I guess you would say the first open world Mario game. Well like um and what I mean by that, I know people say like with Mario Larry been kinda of open world as it is, but like this is like open world open world. Like he it's like islands, a bunch of different islands he can like navigate to in real time. Like he has a um like a little creature that he can ride on to go from island to island. And Bowser kinda of has a mechanic where he um can get aggravated over time and you have to deal with his deal with him uh attacking the island kind of like uh i want to say like majora's match remember how that works with the moon uh, oh, <clears throat> how it was always a thing you had to worry about well bowser's the thing you got to worry about while you're playing on these islands and um you fight him for a little while and he goes he's supposed to go away and you can go back to doing your things on the island to try to beat him for good <clears throat> but it's, I, I said we hadn't played that yet, but it seems like it's gonna be interesting. And also, it has a, it has a mechanic where you can hoard a bunch of power ups too. So like, power ups in that mode of the game kind of feel like Mario has classes. So like, you can swap from the from the cat from his uh, Mario cat um power to the to the fire fire power to the uh, raccoon power and all that stuff. So like, it's like interchangeable as opposed to just picking it up and using it until you lose it. Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh well for me dude man i've been playing i've been over the last like three weeks i've been buying so many games uh start off um obviously i've been playing dead by daylight on stream uh www.twist.tv slash tk underscore nick fury if you like dead by daylight come check me out uh but oh you are yeah (laughs) yeah hey man you gotta get it right gotta get it right they gotta know they gotta gotta know man <laughs> anyway so uh mostly dead by daylight but recently i've been trying to uh expand my uh my library my gaming library a little more so, yeah um i've been playing a little bit or i've been trying some survival games uh so one of them being rust uh, it was very popular over the last like month, like probably about two months ago, maybe earlier in maybe mid 2020. It was already an old game, but it's basically 
it's basically like minecraft but it's but it's like with guns think of like call of duty with like minecraft but you also get to make your own forts and stuff which is like pretty nice but yeah you pretty much just start off on scratch you start off on an island or a map off of a server uh depending on what kind of service sometimes they have a server where it's like a month a month wipe like you have everything built and then after that month that you join or every time that it does the wipe it everything that you made is pretty much just wiped off and you just start all over again so it might sometimes it's a week sometimes it's a month but yeah, it's pretty cool to play with people. Sometimes people do it. I know some people who play solo. Uh, they'll just basically just, you can just go raid different places. You can, you can like build different guns. You can get houses. You can like go fishing for stuff. You can go, I mean, just, just think everything you can do in Minecraft just with guns, basically. Have you, have you ever got raided? Yeah. Yeah. We, <laughs> I, I, we've gotten, well, I play with some veterans and, uh, We've gotten raided before and they have the whole, well, they're pretty serious. They're more serious about it than I am. I'm not that serious about Rust as, as much as they are. But once they get into a, a server, like they all six or seven of them are like building up a big old fort. Like not, it ain't no like two by two or nothing like that. They're making like a whole freaking mansion of a, of a damn fort, bro. Like it's ridiculous. And I, I, I give you some up. I'm, I know, I'm pretty sure that uh, Deep Brown, he might, I know, Joe, they might know what, what this game is like, but this game is like real time. So, like, yeah. even at the, even at the Nick logs off, like, yeah. This, this, his home can still get raided by other people. That's why I actually, yeah, I will still get notified. I will still get notified yeah, no, of it, but yeah, I, like, oh, people, I, if if I'm not online and they get in the raid and they're like destroying my shit and I just can't make it to the computer, like it's it's fucked basically. Damn. Unless I have a really good security, that's crazy. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's a very interesting game in that mechanic. Like it's always real time, so like you build you build a good fortress, a good base, mm -hmm. and, I guess, and you have a good team, so somebody can always be watching it. Because like if not, people that people that's watching your shit might come might, might try to raise you when you're vulnerable, like when when, you, when I think you're asleep or whatever. Yeah, you can fall asleep uh, in your sleeping yeah. bag, and they can just straight up kill you because you're asleep. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I, see, I, I remember thinking about that because I saw I saw somebody on Reddit post a uh, thing where a dude said, "Please don't raid." I ha I work a um, <laughs> I, I work a I work a twelve I work a twelve hour shift and um, oh. I, <laughs> he want he wants hard work to go to waste. I was like, "Damn, Man, he just made himself a target." <laughs> Exactly. That's what I see. Oh, oh, you won't be online for twelve hours? All right. I got you, dude. I'll be at the front door. <laughs> hey, your hands up, buddy. Yeah. Where I see him. Yee. But uh Rust is definitely one of those games. Uh I've tried to uh, I have I tried to revisit Minecraft. Um, it's pretty cool. I mean, the main reason why I've been trying to play these kind of Minecraft survival games is just to help me get used to keyboard and mouse because I'm trying to make the switch over from controller. But yeah, I've been playing mostly that. Um, I've been playing a few horror games. I one of the old games, Five Nights at Freddy's. I literally broke like I, I probably put a dent on the bottom of my desk because I jumped so freaking high off of my chair, <laughs> like on the fourth day. Oh shit! Did somebody clip that? Cause I want to see that. <laughs> uh, well, to be honest, to be honest, you probably didn't hear it, but yeah, there there was probably a couple of times I got like legitimately scared when <laughs> when when they uh, tried to jump scare me. <laughs> <laughs> I I was I was gonna go back and uh and edit those and put it on my YouTube channel of some of oh, those yeah. clips. But um yeah, I'm probably gonna do another scary game and do a whole playthrough of it and make clips of that stuff. But yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's is one. Uh I've been playing control as well. It's a great game. It's fantastic. I'm really happy they made it free for PSN and, and Game Pass. Uh but it's pretty cool. I haven't gotten that far into the game. Uh, well, I mean, I'm trying to go find the brother, but I won't get any farther than that. But I'm trying to get one of the powers that she has where she can fly. I didn't even know she could fly based off of the trailer. But yeah, it's a pretty good game. The powers are really cool. Uh, the story's kind of unique in a way. It kind of reminds me of Hellblade in, in a sense, because it's like a different kind of person trying to make her do certain things at at the bureau you know what i'm saying it's yeah. kind of like the same thing but yeah. you know it's it's mainly her she's in control but you know the the other entity is the trying final. to help her try to guide her <laughs> towards that area 
you know what i mean but yeah it's a pretty dope game i ain't gonna lie i'm gonna try and finish that probably this week or sometime next week um what else have i been playing um i'm probably gonna play there's another game that i just downloaded too which is prop hunt which is basically i'm sure everybody knows what that game is it's pretty old a lot of youtubers famous youtubers played it at least once if you ever watch any famous yeah. YouTubers like Markiplier, PewDiePie, any any of those big guys in like the last five years, they probably played this game at least once and put it on their channel. But it's basically you just you you have somebody who's it's just hide and seek, but the you're basically a prop. So you can be like a can, you can be like a like a couch, you can be like a like a tennis ball, anything. Like it just randomly spawns you as whatever you gotta hide and make sure they don't find you. But uh, it's just a fun game. Phasmophobia is another game I've been playing a lot of lately. I need to play more of that because I could probably make some good content out of it. It's basically just like uh, like a ghost hunting simulator. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's it's pretty dope. It's pretty dope, yeah, especially you, I, when you're I, playing I, I, with I, people. I logged into one of your streams playing at once. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, it's it's not fun playing. It's not fun to watch when you're playing it with like someone like me and somebody who's like really experienced with it. And they're trying to like speed through it no it's fun when you have people that are scared during the entire time and they don't know what they're doing because that makes it more interesting but uh yeah that's definitely one of my games but i think that's about everything in my library that i played so far for the most part um uh, uh well we'll move on to the next topic we got the uh the resident evil showcase so they actually just showed a, a demo they posted out a demo for uh the Resident Evil 8, is it 8? Village? Yeah, Resident, Resident Evil Village. Yep. Yeah, Resident Evil Village. Uh, <laughs> they just released a uh, a small demo um, showing what happens in the game. It's basically the same kind of character as it was in Biohazard. Um, I never had a chance to play, but you did, Larry, right? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, but I do have a challenge for Deep Brown, though. Uh-oh. Oh, hold up. Hey, man. Did we get more than five likes? Eat. (laughs) Ten likes? If if I play the medium, uh, I'm not medium. If I play the uh, maiden, then I'll play the medium, man. Yeah. You will? You got to play the game, not the fucking demo. (laughs) You record it? I mean, you can play an hour. Play an hour. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. No, oh. we can't. We can't can't commit. We we can't commit now. Slow down, man. We can commit now, man. Yeah. Get it over with. Yes, I will play Do the it. medium. It's All already right. been okay. <laughs> cool. Cause I already got it uploaded. <laughs> <laughs> got him. <laughs> Damn, now you really can't go, man. <laughs> so yeah. So, so now we can expect that medium gameplay from uh, D Brown. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We, we look. We looking out for that on the on the channel. If you look forward to my play of Maiden, it's gonna be, it's gonna be out today. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. <laughs> But back to, back to the topic at hand. <laughs> the day that we're saying this is the 12th, the 12th of February. It'll probably be a little bit later when we post this pod, but yeah. It, it won't be up by then anyway, so don't even, don't even give a date. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? what won't be up? You already You're got it in here. You already completed it. Oh. Yep. Did I give a date I was going to play it? I didn't. I did oh. I got him. Uh, what? Man, go yeah. by stick. Stipulations. Stipulations. You try to deceive me, sir. Got, got to do. Got, got to create content for the cut the channel, man. You right. You are absolutely correct, sir. Yep. Well, anyway, back to Resident Evil. Mm. So, what would you, you think of? What would you, you think of it, Nick? The uh, gameplay. Um, I didn't get to play it uh because I just didn't have a PS5 at the time. Oh, well, I was talking about the gameplay. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Off for, for oh, village. what they showed oh, off? Like yeah. yeah. Uh, <clears throat> honestly. From what I saw off of it, um, I mean, it looked okay. I mean, it looked basically. It's probably just going. It's, it's going straight off of what uh, Biohazard was looking at. It was just um, some small little jump scares here and there. Uh, it's like a, a first person kind of view, not a third person. It's not an action kind of game. It's basically you just uh, you're doing puzzles. You try to try to find different puzzles in this mansion and. Um, yeah, I mean it's it's basically just a just another story off of the main character of Seven. 
I mean, it doesn't look that impressive to me, but just just the way I'm talking about yeah. it. But yeah, I mean, you want to see what what other stories they're gonna have, especially when they're gonna have another another guest character from one of the previous uh, generations of this series. Yeah, for me, I um, I like the game, so I, I honestly didn't really look at seven a whole lot. But seeing how eight kind of plays, made it kind of interesting. So I might actually go back and play seven and see it, and see how I like that. See if I want to try eight too. But uh, yeah. I, um, now that I can review it, I did play the Maiden demo. I, th- I thought it was pretty cool. I actually, and if that's that's what the actual game is, like, I actually am more intrigued now than I was before. So um, <clears throat> the, the, the demo wasn't a whole lot. It actually isn't a demo of Resident Evil Village. It's more of just a, like a teaser, like a, I guess a prequel or something like that to an extent to get you kind of get your feet wet into the uh, into the Resident Evil Village. Yeah. So, but I thought I thought the, I thought the, the Maiden demo was pretty cool. Did you see the new ca- I, the new characters though the new like antagonists? You saw them, yeah. right? The two females. Eee! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Ooh, I did. She hold. I said my, 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 <laughs> my gameplay was like I had no spoilers, so I didn't I didn't know what I, know when I, uh, they were coming when I seen them. So you can mm-hmm. see when I, when I play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty. It gets pretty wild once you get about like seventy percent in that demo. It's kind of slow starting off, but like the once you get a little further in, it definitely gets a little bit wild. <clears throat> yeah. The other things that was in the, in that uh that reveal, they revealed that well they, they didn't reveal a uh, Resident Evil Four remake that people were expecting. Hmm. Yeah. No, I was a little disappointed about that. Yeah. Honestly, what I really want them to remake, I want them to remake Cold Veronica. You wanna? Yeah, oh was yeah. yeah. That was a good one. Dreamcast, huh? It, yeah, that was that was my that was my first Resident Evil. That was the first one I ever played. I, I was really? surprised. I, yeah, because I didn't I didn't have you a got play- the game late then, man. Dang. I didn't have a, I didn't have a PlayStation. I was a Nintendo guy, so Nintendo didn't have Resident Evils. Dang. Mm, yeah, that's true. So Dreamcast was my first non non Nintendo system. That, 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 came good that. that was a uh, what? Right. That was like in the early. That was like in two thousand. Oh right? man, that was I was a. Uh, I was what like fourteen something. I, I could only have one system at a time. <laughs> so nah. being a Nintendo guy, Nintendo guy, I chose sixty four. So I mean, uh, I didn't own it. I, I had to rent it from Blockbuster. The whole system. <laughs> I do all that. <laughs> Blockbuster. Oh, yeah. yeah, you can rent the whole gaming system. Yeah, I, I remember you could do that, but I didn't even bother doing it. I just, I just, I just rolled my sixty four, man. And then when I got the Dreamcast, that's when I played uh, Cold Veronica. That was my first. Okay. Yeah. I was surprised by that's the hardest one. So I was like, that I played that like it was nothing. <laughs> and they said that's the hardest one out of the original series. Yeah, but you didn't play it on 64? I mean, 64 had Resident Evil. No, they didn't. No. I'm telling oh, you. Yeah, they, 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 they did. They did. They did. They did. They had part uh-huh. two, I think. They had part they two. Resident Evil 2, yeah. Yeah, it came, it came at the tail end of the system, though. By then, I had already had a Dreamcast. Yeah. Okay. All right. Man, you didn't even get to play Resident Evil 3, huh? Yeah. Nope. I didn't play any of them. That's, mm. that's why I told you when uh, well, I came in. when the re- when the remakes came out on on uh, PS4. That's why I said I'm gonna play them for the first time. Yeah. I played none of I played none of the PlayStation classics. So you didn't experience like that first one, like you know, like when the game came on and <laughs> the first time you seen a zombie and stuff. The only friend the friend I had that had a PlayStation. All my friends had PS Nintendos. Only, only friend I had that had a PlayStation was uh, our homies, uh Sean, you know. So that, that, was my, that was my only experience playing a PlayStation back then. Damn. Yeah, cause everybody else was I'll never forget that day. A boogie song. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Like, he played Silent Hill and all that, so I experienced Silent Hill. Played all the games. Probably, yeah, we, I've never yeah. played. I never played a Silent Hill game. I, I played the uh, the first one. PT. P two is not the only one I played. The dim, that little whatever that was. Mm. E T. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, that was. That shit was. I think weren't you watching me play that, Joe, at your house? Yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah, I was playing that. And then after that, when I went to go back to play it, like it was not there anymore. That's when I. Fa- that's when it? I found out using the horror games. Well, to did be you, honest, did you, with, did you play with headphones? Uh, nah, he was just a regular. No, I think I just did a regular because he wanted to. Because Joe was right behind I see me. His reaction. Yeah, I want to see his reaction. Wow. So, oh, it'll be more, more, uh, 
intense and mercy because because of oh the yeah because you could hear a lot more stuff oh, yeah. man you could hear yeah. like the sink going and all like the yeah. baby and shit. The, the, uh the ghost talks to you too oh right? oh yeah 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 that's true yeah 100 percent. And, 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 and the audio the way they got the audio it always sounds like it's right behind you he's right behind that, that, you well she technically that, is oh yeah we, we know that now we know that now but back yeah. then you didn't know that yeah but it, sound, but it literally sounds like she's breathing on your neck like right behind you it's, it's mm-hmm. like yeah. creepy like, I play, yeah I played it later. I played it later on my own, but yeah, um, to get the headphone experience. But uh, I mean, I ain't gonna front since he played Code Veronica. Like my first Resident Evil game was actually four, and then I had to make my way back. So, but I, know, I think the remake Veronica though, they're gonna have to uh, change some stuff because it's not. It's kind of mad problematic now for this day and age. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that, I mean, that, I heard that uh, Resident Evil Two remake was it two or three? Two. Two no, was the better one. Two and three. They, 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 they were made one, two, and three, but one yeah. wasn't, wasn't a full. Nick, you got three, right? Remake. I got three, and that one was ass. Yeah, that's yeah. I heard that one was trash. It was just the so, main thing about three was okay. So two was actually good because they, I mean, they put more stuff into two, mm-hmm. and. They just made it a complete game to where it wasn't just like really, really short. Like Resident Evil 3 was just completely short and they missed like a lot of really important parts in the story of Resident Evil 3. They just tried to like make it look like, oh, so this happened in 2. So we're going to like show why this happened in 2 and then make it in 3. You know, they were trying to make like just kind of like, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, it's just like two events happen in, in the same game. And so they, just trailer, they they re, just redoing a whole story. It ain't no the same no. It, it, well, I'm not gonna say they're gonna redo a whole story. It's just like one of the scenes that happened in two just kind of ha- they showed what how that went to be in three. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you don't get to see what happens in, in three. You only see what happens after what happened in three. You know what I'm saying? So it actually went backwards, kind of in a way. But uh. I don't know. Just, just three. I mean, the graphics were nice, but they didn't show like anything. They didn't really okay, like showcase. Bro. They didn't showcase like too much of Nemesis. Too much. They just showed him like when you have to fight, like do the first fight with him alone. Mm-hmm. That was just basically it. It's not like he was like breathing down your neck, like like uh, what's his name, Mister X or whatever, was on your neck yeah. like the entire game in Resident yeah. Evil Two, bro. It was like man. It, it was just it was just rushed it was just a rushed game just to stay flat out it was just yeah that's the most like i i thought that it would actually be uh like a something like if they're gonna just make a, a remake of it it should have just been like resident evil 2 and make it a complete game i'm not even gonna say resident evil 2 was a complete game because of course they had the they put different things in it so they missed out some parts in that but they still put the important parts in two yeah you know so yeah. yeah, Resident Evil Three was. If if you got that for sixty dollars, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And that that was so ass. That was pathetic. Pathetic. <laughs> um. I guess. But enough of me being sick. Uh. <laughs> uh. What else we got? Uh, we got the February games. Okay, okay. So what kind of uh, new games they got out for uh, for PS Plus right now, or or in general? Um, uh, I mean, for most of we already talked about most of those. Like the um, you had the control oh. and and destruction all stars. Yeah. And Mario Mario Three D Land was the one I was playing too. That came out today. Yeah. That uh, that other game you were talking about. Um, where you have like two people. Oh, we, um, we were here. That's what it is. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that, that that just became free like earlier this week. Okay. Yeah, when, when the first time you said that, I thought I honestly thought it was that 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 two year old game where you're in a prison and you have to like do shit together most of the time. Oh, I know what you're talking about. But yeah, I forget what the way name out. of that. Way out. Yeah. Way yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like one person can buy it, and then basically you uh you can just like share with somebody else, and they can play with you. It's practically like a game share, but only one person buys it. Mm-hmm. But it's so 
uh we were here is just basically like a like a castle kind of like puzzle kind of game mm -hmm. okay well as, as far as i know for like game pass stuff um i've seen a few good releases of course control is one of them um they released a little bit more of the yakuza if you if you like the yakuza series they have a lot of those just looking at it right now they have a lot of that it goes all the way up to five um, oh, ju uh judgment came out uh i think this month too judgment that was a yakuza spinoff okay um what else they got they had uh they just added final fantasy 12 on there as well i've not played that one i saw they had Resi uh final fantasy 9 as, as well and i think 10 on it but i haven't played anything past like i played 8 but i never played anything past that besides final fantasy 50 yeah, which i didn't even finish the whole thing you like kingdom hearts in it no because <laughs> <laughs> that, that's on pc now <laughs> Well, I'm not going to say that I don't like it. It's just I never really played it. I've seen people play it and it looks cool, but I don't like the way the mechanics are in it. For, I don't know. It just looks weird to me. Um, With the different keys, the different key blades and all that kind of shit. I don't know. Different worlds and you have to go from one world back to another world and all this other shit. And I'm just... You, you just have to do a lot of backtracking. Um... I don't from what I saw. Red is Evil 7 is on there too now. Yeah, it is. It is on there. Um, the oh, medium no. is also on there. <laughs> mm, <clears throat> medium. <laughs> <laughs> no charge to play. Free content. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what else they release as a re besides that. Werewolf? The Apocalypse? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> what? What is that's that? Right. Wait, hold up! Oh man, that, that was is, a that game. Trash. Now, I, that... seen, I seen the cover and I was like, "Hold up, let me see." Then I looked at the uh, gameplay. I was like, "Ooh, <laughs> 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 it doesn't even sound good." That's a, that's a, such a generic name. The werewolf. <laughs> Wait, what was the oh, whole title? Oh, that could, could be good. It had the potential uh, to be great. It was called but, Werewolf: yeah. The Apocalypse. No. <laughs> yeah. No it's man, get up. that oh, out of here! <laughs> get that hell out of here! <laughs> oh, oh, oh well, no, no, oh, no. Um, I didn't see a whole lot. Uh, besides that, oh, I see they have the the remaster, whatever that is. That is a remaster. Um. Yeah, they didn't have too many games for February. No, it's been a little bit slow. Uh, yeah, I think the, last the, month the big, was a lot better. Uh, the, the big month of gaming is March. That's, that's when, that's when right. usually the big titles come out. Right. Yeah. Uh, that's about all I know. Um, man, I need to play that other Yakuza game. To just Even though it kind of looked whack, but some people said it was actually good, so I actually take their work. Uh, you, you talking about uh, the one that came out last year? Yeah, the most recent one that came out. Like a dragon? Yeah. I mean, Kiryu actually is in the game, but you don't play as him. So. Yeah. You know I'm going I'm to I'm get around to it eventually. I need to get back to zero. <clears throat> I kind of put that down for a minute to play some other stuff. I need to play Good, it. bro. I'm telling you. Yeah, I know. I was enjoying it, but I just got sidetracked. And now don't know that, though. Or does he? Nah, I don't know that man. <laughs> mm -hmm. that shit I think is he fire. actually, I think he actually be, well, like Yakuza because because I mean it's, it's a very it's, it's a very good story. Indeed. I guess I'll be playing that next beside the medium then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I nah, put that oh, back no on the back burner. Back burner. Mm -hmm. the, the people, the people are waiting. Be trying to find no loopholes. Oh, you yeah. are waiting. I have seen no polls saying I need to play the medium. All right, I'll put a poll under the shoot. There you go. There you go. I'm gonna send it out. You know, if this if this was an I'll actual on, stream, if this was an actual stream and people were tuning in, which I probably would like promote the shit out of it, I would do a poll. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I might do that. <laughs> Y'all want to do that? I might just do a yeah, live poll. Eek. Let's do it. All right. Do it. Cool. We'll do that. Uh, the next the next week we'll do uh, the next podcast that comes out. We'll promote that and we'll do a live stream of it from now then. 
Um, but uh, we'll go on to the next topic. <laughs> go stop going back. To that. Uh, so uh, the Warner Brothers actually patented the the Nemesis mechanic from uh, Shadow of Mordor. Uh, which the nemesis me mechanic was in Shadow of Mordor was is that they had a hierarchy of all the different like enemies that you could well like basically bosses quotations of different stars and different power rankings and all this other stuff but every time that you would uh, you would try to fight somebody inside of the hierarchy it would either piss someone off and they would try to come kill you or they would try to help or they would try to basically try to kill the person that you're trying to kill or you know it's it, it can get a little wild different things can oh, happen yeah. in the in the in the story but uh sometimes they can be even happy that you killed somebody in the hierarchy higher than them so they can move up to the next spot and and hopefully get up to the top of the whole hierarchy but um but but is that actually a bad thing for the gaming industry or is it is it just it won't really matter to the other studios? Hmm. I, think I it's mean, oh, go ahead, uh, my opinion, my opinion. I mean, I feel like it could hurt some of the gaming industry because you know there's so many different games that could come out that could have the same type of gameplay, but just kind of like a different storyline, different enemies, you know, different time period. Like you can go so many different ways with the game, you know, kind of using the same chart. Um, but like, kind of, you can compare like, uh, like one of the first games I noticed, uh, I think it was Batman, like that Batman fighting type style. Like a lot of games kind of use that, like Spider-Man and um, what's that game called? Uh, it's that game with sleep, the triad. Sleep, sleeping sleeping dogs. dogs. Oh, I was just saying yeah. Sleeping Dogs, yep, yep. Yeah, Sleeping Dogs. So like uh, you know like they they kind of use that same fighting system or gaming gaming system. So you know if, if if gaming companies are starting to patent it, like I feel like you know that could kind of hurt it, in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. With, I agree with all that because I mean, and, it, and honestly, they kind of wait for that because they they aren't even using it. They use it for Shadow of Mortar, and that's like it. So like, if you're gonna patent a whole mechanic, I mean, I feel like they should put it in other games as well too. And then, yeah. you know, I mean, to me, I just hope it doesn't start a trend because if you start, and, and really the, the from, what I, from what I read on other sources, like a lot of community, not community, but like the game devs, they're not happy with that. So I don't see a lot of the developers doing it too much. Maybe maybe EA, of course, because, you know, they'll do some, they'll do some shicey shit like that. Yeah. But, um, <clears throat> but I mean, it's kind of whack, bro. I mean, and but prior to them, it wasn't really done that much for I think there's only one other case where that was done for. I think Namco, Patent, uh, putting putting uh, mini games on the loading screens, so that's why if you, if, yeah, they they patent putting mini games in the loading screens. So, um, Easy that was, yeah, yeah, they did, and that was that was a long time ago. So that, that's why you yeah. pretty much don't see see Namco do that. But really, it's probably gonna be a dead thing with load screens being almost non-existent in the next gen. So oh yeah, <laughs> it won't even be that big of a deal. But I mean, I don't know. I, I, it's, it's, hopefully, it doesn't become a trend. Hopefully, yeah, that's the thing. I, I, if it doesn't come a trend, become a trend, because like nobody, I can't think of a game that copied like the same uh, mechanics as uh, Shadow. If y'all could tell me, I, I can't think of a game that did. You know, that, there, that's there what's any. throwing me off. It's like, why would you want to pat patent this if it's? I mean, this is a really brilliant mechanic. Don't get me wrong, but like. You don't see anybody ever using that. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody in the, I've never seen one studio, at least let's just say one major studio that releases a lot of games. I've never played, at least in my in my life, I've never played a game that played exactly like that. Yeah. In a way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It just unless you, it might have been a mobile uh, game, but And you won't and you won't see one till twenty thirty thirty five. Yeah. <laughs> they got they got that shit on lock till then. <laughs> what? Yeah, Y'all know if they're in, in jeopardy of losing the franchise or not? Because that might be a reason why they looked out to patent. Uh, I don't think them. so. I don't know. I think both games were successful. Yeah, yeah, yeah they were both successful. good. Definitely the first one. Oh yeah, I, I enjoyed that one. But my, this, that, that doesn't my, mean anything because look at EA. They just lost uh, Star Wars franchise. But EA, but EA, 
It's EA, EA though. No, hold on. We, we got to talk about the EA fucked up though. Yeah. Back when, back when Battlefront 2 came out. Yeah. And di- oh, I don't know if you remember, but Disney got that ass. <laughs> <laughs> Disney's like, hold up, hold up, hold up. These loot boxes are, uh, are damaging the franchise. Yeah. And that, 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 that kind of fraction, their, that, that kind of fraction, the their whole um, partnership as it was. Yep. So, so them kind of losing is not a surprise because it's already kind of, they already kind of at odds after that after that incident because yeah. Disney didn't like uh, EA putting this, this blemish on the Star Wars legacy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know what the sales were on that Battlefront, that first one, but I mean, I heard like a lot of, they were critiquing it a lot, you know? Like well, it was supposed to be like a game, supposed to be like a nine or 10, but you know, it didn't, it didn't live up to the hype, I guess. And then when they dropped that second one, that's when it like really failed because of that uh, those microtransactions and stuff. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, they, they well, actually turned I, didn't, that- I didn't play it. Like I played, I tried it, and I played it for a little bit, and I was like, ah, oh, no. Well, they turned it around. It, 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 it's been pretty popular. It, it, I, I would say it, it's successful now. Yeah, I mean, it, first, yeah. Back Go when ahead. it first came out, it was a uh, it was paying pretty bad because of those microtransactions and the pay to win mechanic with with um the hero characters. That was the main issue. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Not with those hero characters. But yeah, mm. I mean, I heard, I heard a lot of good things about it now. Like, I know a lot of people are playing it. Yeah, it was free last month. Then, then, yeah. Then, yeah and then I was, I was about to say, didn't it set a record for like uh, the most downloaded game on Epic Game Store or something like yeah, that? Yeah, on oh, Epic okay. Games, since it was free, it was downloaded. I think, I think more people downloaded for free than actually bought it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, honestly, it wasn't more than like a, like a $15, $20 game at most in my opinion but yeah um i still think it's good it's fun but it's like i don't know man it's, well what they were trying to do back in the day with the microtransaction of course ea gonna be doing that shit to make a little extra money because it's ea but yeah it's it that's definitely a reason why it wouldn't it, would, it wasn't as successful as it was before mm-hmm. but um yeah Going back to Warner Brothers, man, like, I, I don't know. My opinion, let's, let me just say this. There's no, like I said before, there's nobody else who's doing this mechanic. I, I mean, I guess they're just worried that if someone else was probably rooming that they were going to use this mechanic and then they threw up this fucking patent, just, just, just throw them off and just let them not continue with that kind of, uh, that route that they wanted to go with the game. But, I mean, it could just it could backfire against them too because I, I don't know. I mean, it's a good mechanic, but it can. Get, I, I mean, I don't know if they're gonna add anything else to any other games that they have that is gonna make it fresh and it's not gonna be like the same shit over and over again. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I don't. I haven't played Shadow of War, so I really. I mean, I'm sure it has the same mechanic in there, but um, I don't know. It just. <sighs> I don't. I don't think it's gonna be exactly bad for gaming, but it's gonna hurt some devs. Some devs are definitely gonna be pissed about that. They'll be limited to not using that that kind of uh, mechanic. And it probably wouldn't be a, be a copy of that mechanic anyway. So I think they're just overreacting to it. Next thing they're gonna pay fatalities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just I don't know. It's, I, I don't really. To be honest with you, I really don't care. I don't really care about it that much. I don't care as long as it don't become a trend. That's all yeah. yeah, as long as it doesn't become a trend to to other kind of kind of things, uh, to other franchises. Because you want you want to put dollars on it, how it could impact us. If, if people got to start paying fees to, to get patents into their games and do certain things, you, you know who that's going to fall back on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One hundred percent. Um. So you're gonna have to explain this one, Larry. Um, so Sony, Sony had a. Uh, I know they described this like right before they released the uh, the PS5, but they actually had a. Uh, well, since Control is now a free game, they kind of put this a little bit more into the light. But uh, Sony released, or, or they have in their PS5s, uh, the cracking compression technique. Which actually makes control forty percent smaller than the than the uh, Series X uh, version. So basically, what this compression technique is is just basically their own con- uh, 
like their own encoder just like nvidia has their own encoder for like streaming and video and everything that you do on your pc but it, every, like it's different from a pc because like i said nvidia is the graphics card that you put in your pc so they use the, the encoder on that graphics card whereas this with a crack cracking uh compression technique this is basically since it's a custom made ps5 or xbox series x or whatever they whatever kind of encoder they have it's custom made to that system so they don't have a processor or a gpu that's going to like handle the stress of doing that compression they have their own kind of like compression technique that will that yeah. will help with that so it's, it's its own thing basically what i'm trying to say so is that actually a potential game changer to uh to people like let's just say in general it doesn't have to be like with the pc thing obviously it's probably pc can't do that so is that actually a game changer to uh in the future and will they implement that later i think it's a game changer because i mean we all need space because <laughs> i mean these games get bigger and bigger um like each year call of duty you know, yeah, <clears throat> yeah well, i was just say call of duty so I mean, if we can if we can cut, at least cut those in half, like like in a way how they could cut control in half compared to the Xbox Series X version, I mean that's great. And I was I was trying to get get the information from from D Brown, but uh, he didn't get it back to me. But like even with the Destiny update just recently, because I noticed it because I had I downloaded across two systems. Uh, my PS4 Destiny had an update this week. On the PS4, the Destiny update was 12 gigs, and on the PS5, which you would think would be a, a larger file size, being the you know the textures and stuff. Uh, that that file size is actually 4.7, so it actually was ha um, near the half of what the PS I had downloaded on PS4, and it was the same update for the same for the same reasons. So I don't know what the Series X size was. I tried to look it up online, but I couldn't find it. But I'll, everybody, I'll be interested to know if, if the Series the X was also 12 gigs like the PS4. <laughs> but just, just if it's can cut file sizes in half, that's great. Oh yeah, that's a win. Yeah, it's definitely a win. I'm down to 40 gigs. Yeah, so the Xbox Series X uh, have to give up around 42.5 gigabytes of SSD space for the game files. And for us, for, for PlayStation players, with the Kraken uh, pressure technique, you you only have to use, you're, you're probably not half, but it's about 25, 25 gigs of room that you'll have to give up. Hmm. But uh, I think it's pretty neat. I think what it's... I understand though is um, how come the game size is the same as a digital compared to a disc? Uh, because I mean it's, it's all the same files. But I'm saying though, like, so if you put the disc in, you would think it would install like half the game, and then you need the other half from the disc. Oh, because I mean, you because because they want improved load times. Everything loads fast on a hard drive. That's even back on last gen too. Yeah, it, it has to do with that, the that's, SSD. That's yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. just just hard drives in general because they did the same last gen too. I mean, you you'll put a disc in, but it installed the whole game. But the reason why is because things just load fast off a hard drive compared to trying to read it off a CD and load it. Because you know, I know I remember back in the day they used to have like some games. You used to ask you if you wanted to install like the game. Like half the game or the game to the hard drive. Yeah, it took your choice you away now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <I> remember that? <laughs> yeah, that was a thing. But, yeah, but that, yeah, let's say they just took the choice away. I mean, now now it's just simply just to have it all installed because it just runs faster. That's that's yeah. the reason why. Uh, if, if not, you have to deal with longer load times and pop in and um, other things that will have to load off a disc compared to just straight up load off a hard drive. Yeah personally i think it's i think it's cool um that they they kind of implemented that in the systems this is a custom made kind of system but uh yeah it's it's definitely a game changer uh if they release that to where uh other games like for instance well, what are other big games like call of duty is definitely one of them like each each call of duty that they have is like at least 100 gigabytes oh yeah uh yeah. what's another big game that they have um I don't GTA, know. GTA is another one. More, well, oh, Mortal Kombat's like what forty? Uh, Red Dead, Red Dead, Red Dead is so another hard. one. Red Dead was huge, say, man. That shit was like sixty Rockstar. eighty. <laughs> oh, yeah. Any Rockstar game? Any Rockstar yeah. game is huge, man. Pause. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, but at least uh, I know I don't know if they're doing a PlayStation. But I know as soon as I finished, uh, whenever I finish Call of Duty campaign, I can delete it off. It just had a multiplayer. Oh really? Yeah. Hmm. So that's oh, yeah. the next thing. Do a lot of yeah. Okay. Um, next topic, we'll go into uh, the game delays that will be uh, later this year or in 2022 due to the pandemic. Um, let me just go off to some that we might know. I don't... Man, is there anybody even getting Hogwarts Legacy? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I, don't think, I, don't, I don't think there's any uh, Potter fans in here. I'm getting it. You getting it? Psych! I ain't getting it. <laughs> He's getting it later. Yeah, it's delayed oh, to me? 2022. No, no, no. I already talked about yeah, that. I, I ain't even worried about Hogwarts, <laughs> man. That's an L. We're good on that. That's an easy L. Um, That's delayed? Delayed till 2022. Yeah, it's just they a might year. Not even make it. They might not even make it. <laughs> <laughs> they might just cancel it. Cancel it? The no, Outriders had got delayed for a little while. It's coming yeah. out a little later than usual. So Outriders got delayed. It was supposed to be released oh. like about two weeks ago, but it's uh, yeah, was... they delayed it to uh, April first of trailer. this year. That uh, was one of the games I was kind of interested yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, on April Fools. I know April Fools. <laughs> oh wow! Uh, <laughs> that, should, that, should, that, should, that should there should be a demo coming out like this month, huh? I don't know. Uh, Outriders? Because cause when they announced the delay, they said they're going to release a demo so people could try it and get their feedback before they come out with the actual game. Like a beta? Uh, I wish yeah. they would do that for like... Yeah, so the demo will come out on uh, the 25th of this month. Yeah, I knew it was sometime. Yeah, there you go. There okay. you go. Two weeks. I'll check it out. Might check uh-huh. it out. But that's their second delay. Uh, before, it was like in the holidays of 2020, and then they released it about, mm-hmm. and then they delayed it back another like four months or something like that. Uh, yeah, they, they, didn't want, they didn't want to be on that CPR way. <laughs> <laughs> what else they got that's actually important? What they got? Pragma, Pragmata. Re- Returnals got delayed too. Elite Dangerous Odyssey. I don't know what that is. L. Uh... Cyberpunk 27, uh, 2077, uh, free DLC. So they're going to have some free DLC that was supposed to be in early 2021. However, the DLC may no longer hit its target window as the developer has prioritized working on the most important fixes and updates specifically for the poorly optimized PS4 and Xbox One versions of Cyberpunk. Yeah, they got to get that straight first. Got to get it right. (laughs) Talking about DLC. (laughs) Straight flop. (laughs) <laughs> uh but i they didn't give me a specific day it just said later in 2020 it will be this year uh for you guys who are worried about that i'm not it's outside yeah <laughs> <laughs> i mean yeah, I, I still like the game i just i'm just waiting for, I'm just waiting for the for the good version to come out it's still real to me damn it <laughs> <laughs> uh let's see riders republic is they had the Lord of the that's, Rings, huh? That's the open world, um, like sports racing game. They had they had like bikes and ATVs and all kinds of shit you can just. Oh, ride I'm around. surprised you know about that because that's Ubisoft. Ubisoft. I'm back, I'm back in. I'm back in now because of the Immortals. <laughs> that's, that's Ubisoft game. Ooh, should know the changed man. He back. You know where he got a new leaf he, now. He can't stand on his own two feet. <laughs> I, 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 I beef, my beef, shit, my beef lasted seven years in there. I, uh, I, I, I looked at my Ubisoft car and he was loyal to the end. Seven years. I got beef <laughs> to this day. <laughs> I'm still not fucking with Division though. Fuck that game. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you put in some time in that game too, Larry. Yep. All right, mm-hmm. what else we got? Yep. Um, we got Lord of the Rings Gollum. Uh-oh, which up. was supposed to be in late 2021 um, but they said it would release in 2022 for the stealth focused Middle Earth adventure in late January it is, did provide us reason for um, we got another one Returnal uh, was released yeah. from uh, oh you know about Returnal yeah I'm looking forward to that one oh for real yeah 
Uh, Returnal is supposed to be delayed from March 19th to April 30th, 2021. Uh, to give some extra time to continue to polish the game, blah, blah, blah. We know all this. The roguelike third person shooter that will be released exclusively on the PS5. You can go ahead, Larry. What want to say? Oh, no. You, you got you hit the nail, I'll say. Yeah. But uh, it's a roguelike, roguelike third person shooter. Yeah, it's a bullet hill game. They get constantly sprayed with bullets. Yeah. Okay, and then we got the last one on the list. I mean, there's all obviously there's <laughs> Overwatch two as well. That's but he just put it in this list. Uh, but it was Prince of Persia. Prince of Persia. Uh, the Sands of Time remake. Uh, it's about time they actually remake. did this. Uh, yeah. Is it a remake or it just? Uh, it's a it's a remake. It's a remake <laughs> as a they classify it as a remake. Okay. Uh, it's delayed from March 18th to a quotations it a later date, <laughs> <laughs> which probably you. means a long <laughs> ass time. Uh, uh, the first game delay announced in February was the ninth overall of for the year. It was Prince of Persia: The Sands of Time remake? According to Ubisoft, the extra development time will allow the team to deliver a remake that. Feels fresh while remaining faithful to the original. A new release date wasn't announced. The, this is the remake second delay. It was previously pushed January to March. Damn, dog. You know what's whack? I didn't even play Prince of Persia. I'm sorry. Yeah, nope. I couldn't mess hey, with you, it. Yeah, you messed. You missed out. I did. Pro- I probably did no, mess no, mess out yeah, because no, no, no. I I watched I, I watched like a trailer of it or something like that. It looked good, but I just never played and never got to it. I wasn't a fan of it. It's classic. Oh man, that's classic. Man. So, so it's classic. like it's no, like a Assassin's no, Creed kind of, or is yeah, it like that's yeah, that's that's was, no no Assassin's Creed? No. <laughs> okay. No, it's yeah. Assassin's Creed. No, it's not. It, it, it was more about it was, it was about the platform aspects. I mean, Assassin's Creed did build up on what Prince of Persia started. I mean, but there there is no like open world. It's just straight, you know, story and level gameplay. Yeah, linear. Okay, gameplay. so it's a platformer instead of just an open yeah. world. Okay, it's, it's, a, it's a it's a platformer puzzler. Oh, I mean, you, you're, nav- you're navigating. Yeah, you're navigating uh, different traps and rooms and stuff to try to um, get from point A to point B. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's a Assassin's Creed with God of War mixed in. Okay. Huh? Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. It's, it's what, Joe? Assassin's Creed with God of War. Nah, I, I, still, I still don't agree with that. <laughs> I don't agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Fact more, check. I would say, I would say more, more Mario and um, uh, and Batman. Because the uh, combat is more like Batman than, uh, than uh, it is. Uh, uh, the Arkham series? Yeah, it's more like that than, it is, than God of War. <clears throat> You, you, you point at the enemy, you swing your sword. Pause. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you got that. I, I, had to, I had to do that one because everybody was late on that one. So I was like, I might as well just shoot it right now. Um, What's the game that you actually play, Joe? For you not to like it. Say it again. What I, what I didn't like about it? I said, I, yeah, what did you like about it? Uh, I didn't like the storyline. Um, I didn't like Are the combat. Finished? Huh? Did you finish? So you finished it? No, I played through it, and then I just got bored with it. Mm-hmm. It was the uh, it was the one where like you had, you could like rewind, like say if you die. That, 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 that's an original. Was the Sands of Time? Yeah. Oh, that was original. Yeah. That, I was like, nah, man. You die, and then you can just like remix it and bring it right back. Yeah, that's what that Sands of Time do. Rewinds time. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, you died? Jeez, you can drag in. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that, that, that didn't necessarily mean that you reverse, got to do the reverse. Yeah. On a certain amount of time, you can rewind. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, so if you were not rewind at the wrong spot, see, you still you still was fucked. Yep. So it, was, it, was, it was a level, uh, level strategy towards that, too. Man. I think that was during like when God of War came out. So I was like, they did come out the same around the same time. No, they didn't. Okay, uh, so you sure? Because I had that bird. I had, you probably, you probably, you probably you played, played around the same time. I had the bird. I, 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 I can't remember, but uh, but when the same Prince time of, came out, Prince of Persia came out around November ish, and God of War came out in the March. 
But I work at the same so they, time as Devil May Cry 3. They still around, around, the, around the same time, right? But not at the exact same time. Yeah, because they said the exact same time. They said around the same time. How many how many games did they have? Was it just one or two? No, it's probably it's more than it was, two. It was a tri- it was a trilogy. Yeah, I'm about to say that I know they had more than one. Yeah, yeah. Same at the time you had uh Warrior Within and then you had uh the two thrones. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> they do it like a spin off or some stuff like that. Yeah, that, 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 that one flopped. Yeah. But, but oh no, no you talking about that the oh. other Prince of Persia. What the original? From S N E S? Oh, oh. No, oh, no, original, not that. The original was dope too. I played that too when they had to be made on uh, Xbox. Yeah, yeah. Pretty cool. they, had, they had them both on uh, the Prince of Persia or Sands of Time game. You can unlock them and play them. Yeah. And then I remember that game that had the same mechanics. It was called, uh, it was called um, Outworld. Or something. Outworld? No, not Outworld. Uh, Flash, Flashback. Mm-hmm. Remember that? Nah. Nah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. y'all they, they they remade it for the uh, PlayStation. You must have been Walmart crate diving for that one, Joe. Ah, oh, flashback. <laughs> Look at that. A up. science fiction cinematic platform game. That's a flashback. Yeah, I never. Yeah, came, I never. I never even heard of it. Well, what did they try to? What platform they remade it on? Uh, they made it for the uh, mm-hmm. SNES, and then they made it for the PS3, the remake. Okay. It was like an HD version. Yeah. Okay. 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 I see what you're saying. In jungle. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. They and had it, it for uh, Xbox 360, Microsoft Windows, and PS3. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it does. Oh, well, go ahead. Ubersoft. Oh, no, yes. I'm saying, like it was pretty much. It was like the same mechanics <laughs> that Prince of Persia had, the original Prince of Persia, but you could do more because you have you have a gun. And I don't know. The story was a beast, man. Yeah. yeah if y'all if y'all look it up, y'all would be like, oh yeah, I remember. Especially if y'all look at the cover. Hmm. Yeah, I don't remember that. <laughs> let me let me find it. I'm a, I'm gonna find it. Hold on. All I know is Prince flat, of Persia was, was cold. Flat. All I want if they bring back the Warrior Within as a remake, they gotta put the God Smack theme in there too. <clears throat> the yeah. I stand alone. <laughs> Hold on. Mm, I'll find it. <clears throat> Who's in there? That's the so that's the art. That's the art. It's in the OG chat right here. Oh, okay. That's the art right there. No, that's not it. That's not it. That's, right? not it. that's the remake. The, I'm talking about the original. Oh, the original one. Okay, the original looks like this. What like Nathan Drake? Future Nathan Drake. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is okay. Boy getting, I don't know about getting, this. Right. The boy tracking down relics from the this 90s. Is, this is the original one, at least from no, I saw. It. <laughs> huh? No. What? Dang, we what show is it? <laughs> That's like the Dreamcast one. Uh, it was on the SNES. SNES. Hey, this this series been that long? Shit, I don't know nothing about yeah. this joke. Hold on, hold on. Oh, this one. Okay. Nah. I see what it is. I remember this the cover, one. Joe. But nah, that? I don't remember the game. Yeah, I never played the game. Yeah, yeah I ain't never played that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Five point eight out of ten. Take take that take that back. Ain't shit. Mm-hmm. Five yeah. out of ten. Yeah, that, that's shitty. <laughs> it's called nostalgia. <laughs> <laughs> Who's getting, getting ten out of ten? SNES days. Huh? Who's Mario? getting ten out? Of- <laughs> <laughs> every, every every Nintendo game ever. <laughs> and that's, that's Nintendo. Street Fighter. They got a ten out of ten. Probably. Yeah. I mean, that was like the best fighting game at that time. I mean, come on. Uh, Clay Fighter. <laughs> what? Hey, Clay Fighter. Clay Fighter. said Clay Fighter. That shit was garbage. <laughs> oh, my. Wow. What the fuck is that? Oh, what, no. you looked it up? I looked it up, man. Oh, you, you never heard it before? I, I never <laughs> heard of that. I'm too young, man. <laughs> wow. That was back when that, 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 that 3D rendering was in his prime. Everything <laughs> tried to do the Donkey Kong uh, way. Man, what? <laughs> what? 
the fight is Mr. Frosty and the bad and Mr. Nope. Frosty versus yeah. Helga. Hey, that was my boy. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Who else they had Ooh. in this bitch? That was, uh, that was the Clay Sub Zero. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Who the was the blob? Gumby dude? Hey, yeah, the Blob. That was a Gumby character. Bonker. Too, like, Blue like Swede made... Goo. Oh, yeah, that's like the Elvis Goo? character. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. This is oh my god. This is actually a fighting game. Oh yeah, it was a fighting game. It was oh, what is that? Fun, fun, oh. fun for kids, but heavily unbalanced. Mickey Bod Clay? <laughs> oh my god. Bruh. Poppy? There are some really shitty fighting games in, in, back in the day, bro. Oh yeah, man. man. Really shitty. Three Fighter <laughs> Three Fighter was a blessing then, man. So yeah, yeah, yeah uh ter- TMT tournament fighters. That was pretty rough. That was pretty good. That was good. Yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, I remember that yeah, the, the Power Rangers fighting game was all right. I've seen that. Uh, That's where you could fight as the Zords, right? Yeah. I remember that, yeah. yeah. I'm, try- I'm trying to think of a really bad one. Fighting yeah. game? I know yeah. Clay Fighter probably, probably was the one. Shaq and they got the sequel. Shaq Fu? Oh, yeah, Shaq Fu. Shaq Fu? Be easy. That was classic. Oh, yeah. man. Come yeah, on, man. Like I <laughs> 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 got the theme going. Oh, man. No, what else man. Hold on, hold on. But Shaq Fu wasn't really a fighting game. Well, yeah, it was, it was. Game. It was a fighting game. The, the, new one, the new one, the new one, the uh, a side scroller. Yeah, the new one. I heard of Shaq Fu too. You probably heard of the remake they just did. Oh. Man, what the fuck is this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Killer Instinct back then, too. Oh, Wait. remember, uh, on, on, I think it was on Genesis, uh, the Primal Rage? Mm-hmm. Hey, that was, that was Primal, Primal was Rage wasn't bad. I'll make my whip midway. Oh, balls. Balls, <laughs> yes! I remember that! Oh my god! Oh my god! I remember. I was trying to yeah, think of the damn name. Yeah, oh that. man, that shit was yeah. garbage. Oh, with a Z. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. That shit was straight trash. Oh, Balls, yeah. 3D! <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Push that. Eee. That game made zero sense, bro. <laughs> I'm just like, man. Oh, I'm man. playing this, and I'm just like, what the fuck am I playing right now, dude? I'm just put on. I, I turned that shit off. I put Street Fighter in, man. Yeah, they oh, had some like fighters back then. I man. can't believe my cousin actually had that game, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. Bio freaks. Oh yeah, you know, you know, Clay, you know, Clay Fighter had a sequel, Nick. What? Yeah, it was uh, called uh, Judgment Clay. 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 Yeah, Judgment Clay. Ju- <laughs> C2 Judgment Clay. <laughs> no. Clay Fighter 2 Judgment. Oh my God. Yeah, I, I, I read it. Yeah, I read that too. Oh, hell yeah. no. Nah. <laughs> oh, hell oh, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, nothing to do. They even yep. had the little character selection screen that looked like Street Fighter, dude. Oh, <laughs> it really looked like Street Fighter. Oh my god! Wow. Moment. The moment Joe said said balls, bro. That I remember that fucking game, dude. <laughs> oh man, I played that game once, once, and that's all I needed. <laughs> oh man, that was that was the era back then. They, they had nothing but fight games, so you had like a lot of good ones. Oh. You had a lot of bad ones. Yeah, they had a lot back then. I think all, all, all the big ones I probably missed out. I guess, like the, I said, the, P, the PS1 era was like, um, like I said, shit, 64 it had no fighters. <laughs> yeah, 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 Killer Instinct, and that was like it. Wait, hold on. I want to oh, see. I want to see. What? Oh my God. I think the only PS1 fighter I played was that Dragon Ball game because I used to go to these fighting tournaments. Uh, fighting game like back in the day, and they, they used to be a, a staple. Like people loved that game. I didn't care for it though. The only thing I oh I see Mortal Kombat four. I see it's trilogy. Six, it's about six, six to four. Yes. Six to four had Mortal, had Mortal Kombat Go and they had Killer Instinct. They had uh, some of the shittier uh, Midway games. I think it was Dude. like uh, 
They Listen had like the one, with the, the one with the gods. I forgot what that was called. They had War Tom God. and War Jerry. Gods. Yeah, I remember War Gods. And they had another one too. Yeah, uh, Fighters Death. Oh yeah, they had Bio. Yeah, Bio. You remember that? Yeah, Bio. they had another one. They Transformers? One. Beast Wars? What? Yeah. That, then they had them all those classic WWE yeah. games. They had some kind of like dark something. I forgot what it's dark called. Rift. It? No, yeah, it was I played another, dark Rift. I played another fighting game. That game kind of went hard though. I ain't gonna lie. You had finish moves on that game. They had a Tom and Jerry fighting game. My God, man, they had a Sonic fighting game. What you talking about? <laughs> I see Tom and Jerry on this list, bro. I ain't what got... was that? <laughs> what? Oh, the Tom Killers. Yeah, I remember that. What was it? I'm killing. What about Battle Battle Arena to Shinden? That was pretty Classic. good. I that never played it. Good. That was like that was like so caliber in early stage. I, I remember going to see it all the time just to play that game. Yep. Mm-hmm. I used to go to rival schools and uh, Street, Street and Fighter Street the Fighter movie. VX. Oh no, Street Fighter oh, the movie. That's a bad one. That's a bad one. Oof. That, that tried. That was a bad attempt to be Mortal Kombat. I oh, freaks. Yeah. Balls. <laughs> oh, remember uh, WWE the arcade game? Hey, that game went hard. <laughs> yeah, pin him, pin him. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you hit the fish. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that game was actually good. No, that was WWF. Yeah, was. That was before it became WWE. That was a uh, WWF, I think. Right? Yep, the arcade yeah. game. So many. I think he's to hit people with like tombstones, like real tombstones. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking in. Dang. Razor, Razor had the sliced arms. Oh yeah. <laughs> what arms turned to actual razors? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Oh my god. Oh, arcade. <laughs> Why Dick stuck on it? Three <laughs> D. That's just bringing back bad memories, man. Man, I miss those days. I miss those days too, bro. I got my N sixty four, bro. I'm trying to get my. <laughs> let me go get balls. E, let me see what eBay got. Balls. <laughs> Ew, big balls. Big balls. <laughs> I'm kind of curious right now, to be honest with you, to see how much the game is. If somebody extra, they, they do. It's a dollar. No, it's nine bucks if I buy it. The, uh, the, the retro store down here probably got a lot of stuff. They have a lot of old games. Yeah, I need to go check out what is it? It's Playing Trade or whatever? Yeah, they got yeah. a lot. I have to go check that out. Game Exchange, man. Oh, yeah. They have a game exchange over in our city, but uh, I never been. There. Yeah, they got one. I just I've been in there once. I never checked everything else, but it looked nice oh. though. I'm about to check it out. I'm gonna find a hidden gem. E. Let me know. All right. Um. So we might as well throw retro fighting as our topic in, in the uh, description. We might turn <laughs> into a. We might. We <laughs> might. We might make a retro. <laughs> we might make yeah. a retro episode, man. That'd be lit. Talk about retro shit. Oh yeah, throwback Thursdays. Throwback, yeah. There we go. Throwback Thursdays. Streaming Stream topic, right there. Oh yeah. 100%. I can upload a, a classic game old, too. Stream old day, uh, day of reckoning. Oh man, don't bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> classic matches. Man, J Dub might have to come out of retirement. <laughs> 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 oh man, I think that game was also on the GameCube too, huh? Wasn't it? Yeah, that was GameCube. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, shit, they had a lot of good classic. Oh, oh the game yeah. I was thinking about, thinking about, oh, I made the Dark Ages. What I was talking about? That was um. Yeah, that game was tight. Yeah, that game was tight. That was one of the most rare N sixty four games I was talking about. They didn't have yeah. a lot of fighters. That was a midway game, I believe. Yeah, it was. Yep. Like Midway was the only company making fighting games on 64. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about this. This, yeah, this game was shitty too. Fighters Destiny. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. That was SNES. Yeah, that that was yeah that um that that one you could create a fighter. Yep. Yeah. That one was garbage. Oh man. Bruh. I'm gonna just go me- after I'm done recording <laughs> this, bro. I'm gonna start looking through eBay for for retro <laughs> shit. Yep. Back back then, I was a huge Capcom fan. That's what made me bail off Nintendo. 
I said, she, I can't get no Street Fighters in no uh, Capcom games. She I jumped on, on Sega Wave. <clears throat> then I went to PlayStation and they looked back. What, they stopped making Street Fighter for Super Nintendo? Well, when 64 came out, Capcom didn't like the, the fact that games were still on cartridges as opposed to CD. So, mm-hmm. like, no Capcom. Like, outside of Res- Resident Evil 2, there were, like, no Capcom games that ever come out on, on uh, 64. So you oh, missed yeah, out yeah. on oh, yeah. so you, so, and, though. yeah, and see I didn't have a PlayStation though, so I missed oh, out okay. on a lot of like, there was no yeah. there was no all my favorite all my favorite franchises back then were Capcom. I like Street Fighter, Mega Man, yeah. uh, and pretty well, much I everything. Those on PlayStation though. Yeah, I, I said I couldn't know. Like, so. all, all those Street Fighter alphas. So that that made me start being more selective with systems because I just bought Nintendo because I like Nintendo. After that, I was like, man, I'm just gonna buy the best. That was a thing so, back in the day, man. That was yeah. a system. So I like my 64, but it was like, dang, it's like you know, a lot of third party games they didn't they didn't get because of the cold cartridge. Because of that, yeah. 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 Decision good cartridge cost them cost them a lot of third party development. Mm-hmm. Still held it down though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They they held down the first, but first, cause they first cause Nintendo first party of beast. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. They held all that down. They made Jeez. different spin offs out of off of different series and shit. Like they, oh, they yeah. had endless ideas. You can't yeah. you can't they, they y'all, couldn't y'all know when Star Fox came out? Oh, oh yeah. man. <laughs> that game was a beast. Fire. <laughs> like, dude, I, I beat that game so many times, bro. Oh, me too. Trying yeah. to unlock shit. You got to get perfect scores from it. Oh, we used to play the battle mode. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> we used to play the battle mode, too. Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Slippy. what's the name? Slippy. Slippy. Yeah, Slippy the Frog. Yep. Yeah. Fox, yeah, help me. Fal- Slippy Falco and whatever the fuck. The Slippy was always was. getting. Fu- was it Slippy or was it that that pig that was always getting oh, fucked Slippy. up? Slippy. Slippy was, was a frog. Slippy. Slippy was bruh. You always had to save his ass. Fox. E. <laughs> and nobody, nobody remembers the rabbit thing. He's like the most relevant one. I know. Well, the rabbit was just. <laughs> I don't know. Everybody remembers Fox, Falco, and Slippy. Falco a dog too, man. <laughs> Falco a dog. He was one of my favorites. Um, That's man, Peppy. Peppy. Oh, Pep. Oh yeah. Okay, I can't remember. Peppy was his name. That dude was a meme, man. <laughs> he, he, oh yeah, he was a do a barrel roll meme. <laughs> man, that's like, that's like the only thing you know him for. That that's shit the was only fire, thing, though. So you, you could lock on. Oh man. Then you had the multiplayer. Oh. And then, dude, once they implemented it, you could do like these backflips and shit and everything oh, with the yeah. fucking man. I'm like, oh man. It was like you was using a real dog fight. Oh man, yep. that's what got me into Especially dog fight the, the, games. The open warriors when you fought the uh, the wolf version of the uh, Star Fox team. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, remember they had that level? It was like Independence Day. It had all those alien ships. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'd love to go back and play that game. I'm about to. I, I had that in my eBay, my eBay shit too. I ain't gonna lie to you. Man, that's like one of the best make games. Sure, make sure you get a rumble pack. Game exchange, where you at? Yeah, make sure, make sure you get a rumble pack too. A rumble pack. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Shit. For the for the full, for the full experience. But yeah, like you said the first party games, man, they held it down. Oh uh, yeah, because I said Nintendo. Nintendo already had their had their bag, but then they had Rare too. Rare in the Prime before they went to the Xbox. Like man, yeah, Perfect Dark, Goldeneye, Banjo Kazooie, Killer Instinct. I mean, they they had they had, they had a library too. They did Donkey Kong Country too. Yeah, I remember that. It was open world. Well, yep. like open man. adventure world. Whatever. I just need to buy they, me adapter they, to they, play they, those. They had Diddy Kong Racing. Yeah, that went hard too. Right, yeah. yeah a little knockoff Mario Kart. But it had his own twist. He had like he, he had like an actual story with it too. Yeah, I ain't played that. But you can have three different vehicles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man. I just need to get one of those adapters, bro. If I could buy one of those adapters, I'd be hard on that N64 right now. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Oh yeah, man. Oh, I'm gonna find that. I'm gonna find that. I still got my 64. It's in the uh, it's in the closet. Oh, you, yeah. can still buy, you can buy one from the store up here. <laughs> what? I'm about to hook it up. Oh, 64. Oh yeah, gotta, every I retro store has them. You do? How much yeah. is it? Like a couple bucks? It's like like 10, 15 bucks. Okay. 
on right. eBay. I can do that. I'm. You know what? I'm gonna see if Game Exchange got that shit. They probably and I do. bought a. Um, I bought a uh, stream converter too. Uh, That's how you can actually stream it. Hey, take, taking it back to Clay Fighter. You know, I, I just I just found out that the uh, Clay Fighter sixty three and a half, the version that the third game that came out on sixty four is actually worth a lot of money because it's so rare. <laughs> Mm-hmm. They only produce fifteen thousand copies, and Damn. you can, you can, you can, you can find it sold between three hundred and five hundred dollars. Damn. Yep. But if you can get, but if you can get the sculptor's cut, <laughs> 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 it, 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 it could cost up to thousands of dollars. Yeah. Thousands is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. They had Earthworm Jim on there? Uh, did they? I don't, they might have been Earthworm Jim 3D, maybe. Oh. I, 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 I can't remember. Yeah, I was looking at some screenshots. I see Earthworm Jim, which that game was a beast, too. Oh, yeah, he man. Huh? Huh? Yeah, he, he was in the game. Oh, and Clay? Yeah, I saw that. I saw he was so actually Earth, in the game. Earthworm Jim was in Clay Fighters? Yeah, the Clay Talities on there. Play? Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> Man, this is why we need to stream so we can go like back and watch series and react to it. Right? Oh, That'd yeah. be so fucking funny. Oh Play man! It's like the nail said. Look at the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Cam up. Let's get a conference. All right. Zoom. Oh man, Zoom. Sure. I mean, we could just do a Discord video call. It ain't even yeah. that hard. So. Um, uh, man. All right, let's let's end that retro conversation. Yeah, uh, That'd yeah be we're, all gonna, we're gonna we could be doing that for another three hours, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I got like a billion ideas in my head about that. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna so start yeah, stuff down. We're gonna uh we're gonna end this episode ten of this episode of uh the Southern Made Gamers podcast. So uh make sure you follow us on uh on Twitter at SM Gamers Podcast. Uh, also on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook. We also uh, do, uh, we have audio files on Spotify. Uh, you know, just Google us. You can find us. You'll find us. Uh, you can, uh, by the way, my name is Nick Fury. You can find me on um, on uh, Twitch and Twitter at TK underscore Nick Fury. I, I'm also uh, about to make a TikTok and also a YouTube channel. Oh. To post clips of my uh of my twitch uh, twitch highlights corvette corvette uh but yeah that's a that's about it for me you gonna hit the silhouette challenge hell no nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh danelle danelle's back he woke up <laughs> nick with the busted challenge <laughs> tune in <laughs> Make sure you go follow him. I ain't doing that shit. Oh, him. <laughs> uh, but it's your boy uh, Blazing three one eight. Holla at me. You can find me. Twitter, Twitch. Holla at me. Young Lay eighty three on Twitter. That's where you can find me at. Also find me on Instagram at Young Lay. Brown two five eight three on Twitter and Instagram. Twitch, this Talon D eighty three. Follow me. All right, y'all. We'll see you in uh, episode eleven. Remember, we'll probably be doing a live stream for the next time, which will most likely be on YouTube. Uh, so yes, tune in for that in about two weeks from now. Uh, on, from our next, from this episode when it posts, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Sure. Follow.